For basic troubleshooting, first start by disengaging both the rear and front body pins, separating the upper and the lower receiver. If your body pins are stiff, a hammer and punch may be necessary. Next, remove your bolt for inspection by pulling out the charging handle and bolt carrier assembly. Next, slide the nozzle forward and inspect the main seal o-ring on the back of the bolt. If this part is dry or damaged, this can result in excessive gas venting from the gun and or poor slash low efficiency and power. Under regular maintenance, simply apply a few drops of silicone oil to help maintain its functionality and longevity. Cycle the nozzle to ensure there is no debris or residue causing a sluggish return of the bolt into the carrier. If there is, a more thorough cleaning may be needed. Next, inspect the front of the nozzle where it interfaces with the breech. If any debris gets in this groove, it can affect how it sits in battery, causing gas to spill out of the gun, low efficiency and low accuracy. Next, inspect the charging handle and the inside of the receiver for any damage, abrasions or debris that could hinder the functionality of the gun. Next, reinsert the bolt and charging handle into the upper receiver. Next, inspect the lower receiver's hammer assembly. Occasionally, BBs can get into this compartment during a malfunction and cause jams. Identify and remove any BBs or debris from the area. Next, complete a functionality test as shown. Once this is completed, reassemble the rifle. For more tech videos and product info, visit our website at store.kwausa.com.